Hi and welcome to Graham Snackers. Today I'm going to be reviewing Cheddar Goblin with my brother, Quinn. Hello. Uh, and we're going to compare it to Kraft Mac and Cheese. Mm -hmm. So, Quinn, why don't you tell us about Cheddar Goblin? Uh, it's a fake brand from a real movie called Mandy with Nicolas Cage where he goes uh, full Nicolas Cage and kills a bunch of uh, drugged out hippies. And it's a lot of fun. And in the middle of the movie, out of context, there's just this commercial for this fake mac and cheese. And it's great. Oh, and as you can see, I'm a big fan of the movie because he actually got me this shirt for my birthday. Um, uh, and then, yeah, this scene kind of went viral and was kind of like the uh, a lot of people's favorite part of the movie just because it's funny and random. It's very uh, random. And they, they tout in the fake commercial that there's 60% more cheddar than the next leading brand. So we're gonna test that out. However, we did, uh, with the assistance of Steven, have these bowls kind of randomized. So we don't know which one's Cheddar Goblin and which one's Kraft Mac and yeah, Cheese. We're going in blind. So we're gonna just figure it out and see which ones we like more. Ready to dig in? Yeah, sure. Okay. And we're brothers, so we're gonna eat out of the same bowl. Yeah. Because that's not weird. We, we grew up. To spin on each other so whatever we took baths in the same bath yeah though. there was a pronounced like color difference in the powder and it wound up not looking different yeah at all hmm mm. growing up what go ahead i want to say i want to say that this is the cheddar goblin mostly because it doesn't taste familiar like i thought Kraft mac and cheese would yeah but i could be I, wrong as soon as we tried the other one right i was also gonna say we grew up eating the blue box mac and cheese but we also ate like a bunch of the varieties, the different flavors. Yeah, there was like the the white cheddar. Was the it white? Alfredo spirals. That was, those were so good. That was the best mac and cheese. And I have had those since I was like a kid. I know. Do, Do they even have it still? I think so. If this is cheddar goblin, mm -hmm. I don't think it has sixty percent more cheddar. How do you quantify that? I don't know. I did look at the back of the box. And the ingredients and like all the nutritional facts uh, numbers were different. Okay. So it's not just like a repackaged mac yeah. and cheese, which is cool. Do we want to move on to the next? Yeah, I think yeah. we move on to the next one. Yeah. Hide it behind the box. I'm trying not to. <laughs> All right. Mmm. Mmm. This one tastes a little sweeter. Yeah, it does. I could have been wrong about yeah. it not being... Because this, again, doesn't, like, instantly taste familiar. Like, yeah. I know what this is. Did they change, like, the recipe for the original? I don't know. Maybe we're just so used to Maybe. that spiral. Well, you know what? Out. Yeah. I need to have one side by side. Yeah. All right. I'll say I think the first one, I mm -hmm. can taste the cardboard of the box it came in. Oh, really? Yeah. This is a huge bite. Forgive me. <laughs> This one has more flavor. Yeah, I was just I was just about to say, I think this one's just more flavorful. I wanna be biased and I wanna hope that this is the cheddar guy. Yeah. Ones, that'd be better. But also it's like a tie-in product for a movie. Like how much like effort did they actually put exactly. into it? Exactly. Will it tell us the cheddar levels? I don't think cheddar is a number on mm -hmm. the nutritional facts. They don't <laughs> legally have be. to put Yeah. And here's just a good look at the box. Uh, so is Devane a real company, or was no. that just that's just a fake company that's, for that's a fake company the movie? movie yeah. Nothing's better than cheddar. Nothing's better than cheddar. If you haven't seen the movie, none of this will make sense. Go and watch it. Yeah, it is a very good movie. I'll say, a really violent movie. Yeah. All right, what's your guess? What's your final guess? I need one more bite, and then I can give you my final guess. Okay. I kind of went with you with the idea that like it being a tie-in movie product. Mm -hmm is probably like maybe not a lot of effort put into it yeah which makes me think it's this one because i i do think this one's just a a little blander but I do this think one this has one, more cheddar this one does have more cheddar yeah it has 60 percent more cheddar so maybe they did good on their word maybe all right you um, know what yeah i'll say this one then this one is uh, cheddar goblin i am so hopeful that this one is cheddar goblin okay all right uh we have it written on the bottom of the bowls, which is kind of hard to see. Yes! Ah! This is Kraft! That's Cheddar Goblin! Hooray! It really is <laughs> goblin good. It's goblin good. I'm going to keep eating it, because I haven't had dinner. Yeah. Hold on. 
We can get rid of this bowl. That's the irrelevant bowl now. Yeah. Also noteworthy mm -hmm. is the director of the commercial. What's his name? Casper Kelly? Yeah. He, yeah, the guy that did the Cheddar Goblin commercial also made Too Many Cooks. Why don't you if you haven't seen that? That's also really funny. Yeah. No. So it's similarly it's gonna, bizarre. And as you, you an idea, can, right? as you can tell from his shirt, it just, this goblin starts throwing up mac and cheese onto children. Yeah, we're not going to do that um, <laughs> in this because we don't have to throw up and we don't have children. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thrilled that I got the right one. Yeah, and that it's better. And that it's actually better. But the um, question is... It's so weird. The question is, is it worth the price difference? Because this is a little bit this, more expensive this because is it's a... a $5 novelty, and that's 99 cents. Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah. Like, this was clearly made to sell to people who like the movie. Right. Not for people who want to eat mac and cheese. It's 60% more cheddar, but it's like... 500% more, more price. Money. Yeah. I'll go ahead and say that uh, I'll rate this a good mac and cheese because mm. it's certainly better than uh, Kraft. And if it's better than Kraft mac and cheese, then I got to say it's good at well, least. I was going to say this is good. Kraft is good. This is very good. Yeah, you think? I think so. I might be That's more it. partial to the Cheetos mac and cheese. Yeah. I'm and, more partial to the Alfredo spirals. Yeah. <laughs> That's very those good. Are, those are excellent. Yeah. Your Mandy fanboyism that you have, I have that for Cheetos. So Really? Do you have a Cheetos shirt? You know, I saw one once and <laughs> didn't buy it, and oh. I, I've regretted it ever since. Damn. Because I, I think me wearing a Cheetos shirt is kind of like, yeah, obviously. Yeah. Like, people already know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. The time to show. Yeah. Ah! <gasps>